Hi Sterling, when I started puberty, I developed a severe case of gyno from a hormonal balance that destroyed any chance I had of having a normal life of dating girls and gradually gaining experience. I wasn't, it wasn't until my mid-twenties that I was able to get my career off the ground and afford the expensive surgeries, $10,000 plus, to fix this issue. I've worked hard to be what is expected of a man in his late twenties, house, car, successful career, and taking care of his appearance, but without any experience with women, in spite of all that, the idea of trying to catch up seems overwhelming to say the least. Uh, you're, only, you're only in your mid-twenties, mate. Don't worry, you've got plenty of time. Uh, any advice to not only take that first step, but make up for the lost time of gaining experience? Uh, thanks for reading. Hope to put you back soon. So, okay, this, this question, you, you listen to the way you're phrasing this question. Any advice to take the first step? There's literally nothing stopping you from taking the first step except your own brain. Do you see this? Like, there's, you're the one stopping yourself. Like, it's only you stopping you from taking the first step. You don't need any permission from me to take action. I, I, I'm, I'm, I might be sounding a bit harsh here, but that's it's probably not what you wanted to hear. But it's the honest God's truth. Anytime I see a question like this, where it's like, how can I take that first step? How can I stop procrastinating? Well, you just stop procrastinating. Like, how do I approach women? You just, you got, you do it. You grab yourself by the balls and you fucking do it. Like, there's no magical pill that's going to take the pain away. There's no magical pill that's going to make it feel effortless or feel fun. You, know, you, you have to train that. You have to, that has to become habitual. Now, I will give you, I will give you some practical advice on how to make that habitual. Um, and to make up for lost time gaining experience. So you say you haven't had much experience with women and date dating and stuff, right? So what you, you're going to have to, you, you, like it's, you will be lacking, I would assume, you would be lacking social skills, especially at least with women. And you'll be lacking the ability to read women's body language. And I'd, 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 I'd assume that there's some anxiety around talking to women from, with you. I'm going to assume that. So here's, here's the strategy I give guys to kind of make this a bit more effortless. And it's really quite simple. Because being social is a is a habit, like anything else. So, it's it's a muscle. You've got to train the muscle, and you want to establish. You want to establish like a positive association with that action with your brain. So here's how you do that. Whenever for 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 the next two months, fuck it, three months. I don't care how long you want to. Long, minimum three months. Whenever you are out of the house and you see, I'm talking like restaurant, elevator, line at the shopping center, like when you're in line to get groceries, anywhere you see an ugly woman, a fat woman, or an old woman, give her a compliment. Just whatever, vote, vote. just drop it. I like your hat. You got some great shoes. You look fantastic today. You have such a lovely smile. Well, I don't care what it is. Drop that woman a compliment and then carry on with your day. Don't sit there and linger and wait for a response. Just drop the comment and carry it with a smile and carry on with your day. Say it with a, with a smile. Don't say it like a fucking serial killer. Say it with a smile on your face. You look fantastic today. I just wanted, I just wanted to tell you you look fantastic. And keep walking. All your, okay, what, what, what's, what, what's happening there? If you do this every fucking, every time you see a woman who's fat, ugly, or, or old, Right, women you can see, women you would not be interested in having sex with. This is the important part. Every single time you see one, <clears throat> you see one, you compliment her. What's two things are going to happen? There. One, you're going to it's going to become habitual. Especially if, you, if I'm, I'm going to hold hold you to this, right? Do it for three months straight. <clears throat> Every time you see a woman like that, compliment her. It's going to get you into the habit of being social. Right? It's going to get you into the habit of off what's called offering value without expecting anything in return. Because that's the problem that most men have with interacting with women is that they want something from women. So they, they even that they, they, as hard as they try, they can't get rid of that needy energy that women feel around them because they sit there hovering, like wanting something from her, aka sex. So by getting into this habit of just throwing out a compliment and carry on with your day and making a woman, one, you're making her day, which is a good thing. Which makes you, which will make you feel better. It'll make you feel good. People like to make other people happy, right? So by doing that, you're doing a nice thing for somebody. You'll feel great doing that. So what does that do? In your brain, your brain is now going to associate feeling good about yourself with 
talking to random strangers, talking to women. It's going to link these two things together. So you're going to do that for like three months. Then after three months, you're going to keep doing this for the next three months. But all, but then the only thing you're going to add in there is you're going to add in, you're going to, you're going to do the exact same thing. You're just going to drop a compliment and carry on with your day. You're going to do that with women you actually find attractive. So now you're going to do it with every woman you see. You're just going to drop them a compliment and carry on. Uh, you'll probably, you might be tempted to sit there and try and spark up a conversation with the ones that you're actually interested in. And if you can, go right, go right ahead. If you feel comfortable and confident doing it, fine. But there's no pressure to do that. Again, all I'm trying to do is make sure that you, is to get you into this habit of, of learning to be social, associating talking to women with, with, with good, good self-esteem, right? That's a very, very key thing. Uh, learning to talk to women without wanting anything in return. These are big. These are really, really big. If you can, if you can nail these habits down within three, three to six months, you'll be fucking light years ahead of most men. I promise you will. So start with, it's a very, very simple strategy. Start with that and do that consistently every day and you'll be light, light years ahead. Yeah, you'll, with, you'll be able to talk to women, or just like make people's day, feel great about doing it and you'll develop this, you'll find you'll start being this more social, gregarious kind of guy just naturally because of that. Because you've taken away all the fear and anxiety and hang-ups you have around talking to women is now gone and out the window. So that would be my suggestion to you on how you can kind of get some experience. Because And also, I forgot to mention this, you're going to learn female body language through that experience. Whether you learn it consciously or not, it's going to get in there subconsciously. Because if you're doing this to every single woman you see, you're going to see, even though, especially when you, when you do this to a woman that you're not interested in fucking, but she might be interested in you, you're going to see what I call indicators of interest. You're going to see positive body language. You're going to see that um, eventually. Like a woman giving you a smile and was like, thank you. Like what all these positive body language signs, you're gonna see them. You're also probably gonna see some negative ones, but eventually you're gonna learn the distinction between the two without having an attachment to it. And that's the most important part. So go out there, do this experiment for the next six months and rack up that experience.